Thanks for joining us. I'm Caitlin McCarthy with 19 News Now coming to you live from our digital studios. We have breaking news for you right now. We want to take you to the city's Mount Pleasant neighborhood. You can see firefighters are battling this um, explosion at a home in the city's East Pleasant neighborhood. This happened just about uh, about an hour ago, around 8 o'clock this evening. This is at the 3300 block of East 139th. Um, as of right now, we're learning from dispatch that a gas line was hit and a, ho a home um, in that neighborhood exploded. We do have crews on the scene right now. We're going to bring you live to our own Michelle Nix. Uh, Michelle, can you hear me right now? Yes, Caitlin, I hear you. We are here on East 139th, and it is a very emotional scene right now. Some people have arrived who must have loved ones in this apartment building that um, exploded earlier this evening. Uh, it, it's very, very volatile right now. The situation is so dangerous. Police even moved us back um, because they said with this building blowing this way, they don't know um, exactly what happened. But what's interesting is right next door, about the same time, a car slammed into a home that is right next door. The man who lives inside, his name is Calvin, said he heard the person hit his car. Um, he ran outside to call 911, and that's when he saw and heard the explosion. He told me all you heard was screaming and hollering when the explosion happened, it appears half that building is actually gone. He said it is a fully occupied apartment building. We do know that they pulled several people out, a 45-year-old man and another man who had injuries to his legs, but we don't know if there are people still in there. Again, this man is saying this is a fully occupied apartment building, so emotions are high. Police are trying to keep everything under control, but it's also a dangerous situation because they need to find out exactly um, how this explosion happened. And there are people out here right now looking at everything that's going on, along with the fire department, trying to get everything under control. But again, it is emotional tonight, and it's very hard to watch. Caitlin. Oh. Okay, so Michelle, we can see right now that two women are talking to police right now, so we can see just how emotional this is. We can only imagine what these people are going through, especially to have an apartment exploded and then also a car into a home. Have you talked to anyone who was able to safely get out of that apartment building? Um, Again, we only know that they said there's a 45-year-old man that made it out and another person who has burns to the legs. But again, it's fully occupied. If people were at home at the time and half this building is gone, it's frightening to think about what could be underneath all of this rubble. Um, we are waiting to hear more from the fire department about what happened here, what caused the explosion, and um, basically if there are any people that are still trapped inside. But again, this just happened, and firefighters have to make sure they get this under control before they can go in there and uh, try and get anybody else out. All right, thank you so much, Michelle. We're going to keep your live shut up as uh, firefighters continue to battle this blaze, um, but we understand you will uh, be talking to people as well who have seen what's been going on. So thank you so much. So again, as you heard our Michelle Nick saying that um, this house right now is uh, this apartment building uh, looks like rubble. This is um, an ongoing scene right now. You can see firefighters are trying to battle this. I mean, from the looks of it, uh, it looks like not much is left. So we can only imagine what people are um, going through right now, anyone who lived inside that building, um, anyone who has loved ones inside that building. I'm going to bring back a little bit of the sound in case we do hear more from Michelle or anyone else at the scene there. Uh, but as you can see, firefighters have been battling the scene for just about the last hour. Again, for people who are just joining us, this happened around 8 o'clock this evening. A gas line was hit and a home on the 3300 block of East 109th Street in the city's Mount Pleasant neighborhood exploded. Again, we're still working to find out um, if anyone was inside the building. Our Michelle Nick said that two people, um, one person was pulled from this building, another had burns 
Um, right now, again, firefighters are still working to put out this blaze. It's been going on for about an hour now. Uh, streets are shut down in the area. Um, and we're still learning to find out what caused this explosion. Now, another element to this story is a car also ran into a home next to this. So we're learning to see how those are connected um, and where this gas line was hit. So with any other breaking news on this situation, we will bring it to you live here in our digital studios and just about an hour on 19 News on CW43. Thanks for joining us. Nineteen News is everywhere. Download our CTV apps and follow us on social media at Cleveland 19 News.